Welcome to Northwest Fencing Center's Fencing Series on YouTube. This is Coach Michael McTeague and I'm here with you for another Point Control Plus Drill. In today's drill, we will have our hero, that's you, discover what they have learned. If you have not seen Point Control Plus number one and Point Control Plus number two, Turn this video off right now. Go back to those videos and do those drills first. You're going to learn something in the process and it's going to be important to what we talk about today. So, note the time. We're about one minute in. Stop the video here. You can come back to this point later after you've done those other drills and gotten familiar with the process. For the rest of you, here we go. We have done two different sets so far of point control plus drills. In our first drill, we worked with a fencing dummy or wall target. In our second drill, we worked with a ball target. We worked on shoulder, girdle, and core strength in our first workout, and we worked on aerobic capacity in our second workout but we did each one of them with the same structure. You'll recall we used a Tabata timer or we used a wall clock and a list. And we had 10 exercises we were going to do. Five point control exercises and five aerobic or strength exercises. And we alternated between the two things one minute work periods with 10 second transitional periods. So I would start off with my jumping rope if I was doing aerobic. For one minute, 10 second transition to my point control drill. And back again to aerobic and back to point control. When we did strength, we did a strength component, point control component, a strength component, a point control component. And we alternated till we had all five, all five of each done, or the ten steps of our point control plus workout. As we developed more fitness, or if we had more to begin with, we simply called that one lap, and we would go around and lap through again. We're still feeling fresh. We called it in this video how to go for championship status. We would go through and do a third lap. Now, what you've discovered in the last two weeks is the structure of this kind of drill and that it is a very targeted drill. Ha ha, see what I did there? So, now you know how to make a point control plus workout that has the specificity that you need. You know your fencing you know what you need to work on. If you have a particular type of point control you need to get better at, if you're having issues because your feet go first and your hand goes second, then you might want to do point control drills that are slower from farther than extension distance that require you to go slowly with hand out and then finish with the feet, intentionally exaggerating the hand going first and then the feet so that you are working specifically on that thing that you know you need work on. For the portions where we're working on aerobic or strength in between our point control exercises, we can again add something that we know we need to work on. If I have core issues, my back is sore a lot, I'm getting tired in between my shoulder blades when I'm fencing, then I know I need to work on my core. I'm slouching a lot. I need to work on my core. So my work periods in between my point control drills can be planks, crunches, hip bridges, anything you can think of that's a core exercise you can add in there. If I'm having aerobic issues, I get too tired too soon in a tournament or in a workout, I 
can do my aerobic components. I can do what we did before with jumping jacks or jump rope, or if I even had an exercise bicycle, I could jump on that and pedal it like a lunatic for a minute. Anything to really get the muscle, the, the, my big muscles in my body working and making oxygen demands on my heart and lungs. And you can even mix it up from one minute to the next. You don't have to be rigid. It doesn't have to be jump rope every time. It could be jump rope this time, run in place the next. Jumping jacks, another one. Squat thrust and another one. Jump on the bike and pedal for another one. If I've got the energy to do a second lap, I do a second lap and even a third. But again, what you're doing now is you're designing this workout to be your workout. To work on the things that you know you need to improve upon. And by doing this, you begin to exercise your creative muscles, not just your muscle muscles. So, that's my challenge to you this week. Point control plus number three. Design a point control workout that is for you. One that works on the things you know that you need to work on. You can borrow from the thing, ones that we've done before, but I encourage you to think about things you might want to do that would help your exercise that haven't been done before, we haven't done in this drill, or maybe something that you saw, a point control drill that you saw from a, a video with Simone or Cody or Coach Vince, and you want to build off of that to make your point control plus something that is specific to your training needs. So, have at it. One lap, two laps, three laps for championship status, report back to us. Share the workout that you've designed or a quick little TikTok video or a picture of what you're doing as part of your point control plus exercise. Send it to us at social dot n w mm -hmm. let me try that again. Social at n w fencing dot o r g. Maybe we'll share that with you on video um, or the social media sites. And we love to hear the things that you are doing. You can also send your requests there too. Design your workout, work hard at it, share your results with us when you have a chance. We'll see you soon.